One of the biggest annual challenges facing college administrations is how they approach underage drinking among college students. According to the National Institute of Health, 2,000 college students die from binge drinking every single year. Alcohol consumption is especially prevalent at Penn State University, much of which is aided by drinking holidays. Associate Director of Student Health Services, Dr. Linda LaSalle, explains the measures taken by PSU to approach drinking on campus. So NIH, National Institutes of Health, actually um, has some recommendations for what institutions should be doing to try to address the problem. And so we try to follow their recommendations because they've basically looked at the research literature and have identified the strategies that are evidence-based or demonstrated by research to be effective. So we have a wide range of things that we have in place at Penn State. One of the things specifically that UHS does is an online alcohol education program that first-year students are required to take. And two years ago, we created our own um, program for that purpose called Penn State Safe. So every you know, August, 14,000 students at all Penn State campuses take the program. And it has an evidence-based component, so we're hoping that it actually helps students make safer and healthier decisions about their alcohol use. The widespread prevalence of alcohol consumption is no surprise to Penn State students. I'm Michael Hughes. Uh, I've been a student here for four years at this point. And seen quite a bit of underage drinking in my day here at State College. So it's just normal out of control stuff. You wake up the next morning, there's like beer cases and everything sitting on the yard. It's a lot of stuff going on. Underage drinking has long been a part of American culture and especially on college campuses. Penn State is no exception. Aside from its prestigious academic reputation, Penn State is also known as one of the most raucous drinking schools in the United States. However, university officials here at the Student Health Center will do their best to address the issue in the future. Reporting from State College, I'm Ben Morse.